Hello, all physics lovers. In front of your screen, you can see there is a question from INPHO 2012. The heading of the question is cloud formation condition. This question is actually about adiabatic lapse rate. And it's a very important concept. So before proceeding to explain the question and its solution, I'll explain what is adiabatic lapse rate. So let's proceed. As we go up in the atmosphere, the temperature of the air decreases with uh, latitude and that rate of decrease of temperature with height is called the lapse rate. So what is adiabatic lapse rate? Uh, take any uh, open air mass system and assuming the process to be adiabatic, then assuming process to be adiabatic, then the lapse rate is called the adiabatic lapse rate. So basically adiabatic lapse rate is the uh, rate of decrement of temperature with height and assuming process to be uh, an adiabatic process. So suppose, uh, let me take a Z direction as the uh, vertical upward direction. So adiabatic uh, lapse rate would be what? dt by dz. And this will come out to be negative because temperature decreases. So we have to find uh, dt by dz here. Uh, suppose this is the surface of the earth and we go up in the atmosphere. This is a Z direction and at uh, height Z temperature is T. At height uh, Z plus DZ temperature is uh, T plus DT. So DT by DZ is called the uh, lapse rate. And this will come out to be negative because I am taking a proper sign. So now let's try to solve this. So we know that um, uh, from the pressure condition, as we go up, the pressure of air uh, decreases with height and the rate of decrement of the pressure with height, uh, dp by dz, dp by dz is minus rho into g. Uh, we are assuming g to be constant. Here rho is the density of air. And uh, in hydrostatics, when we studied, we assume that the rho is constant. Then um, uh, this is the decrement of pressure in going a unit height, that is a rho g. So decrement of pressure in going a h height above will become rho g h. So, but here uh, we are not assuming rho to be constant. It is not fair also because as we go up, the air become rarer. So density decreases. So using this thing, dp by dz, uh, I have to come to uh, dt by uh, dp by dz is equal to minus rho g. I will arrive to the expression for dt by dz. So let's proceed. So what I want to do, uh, I would like to get dt by dz using this thing. Uh, I can write dt by dz as a dp by uh, dz and divide it by dp by dt. So if I can get this thing, so I will get answer. And dp by dz, I will put the value of minus rho g. And dp by dt, I have to find. So I am assuming that the process is an adiabatic process. Now in adiabatic process, we can write relation between P and V, we can write relation between uh, T and V, but here I want to write a process in terms of P and T. And that relation between T and P in adiabatic process, T power gamma uh, divided by P power gamma minus 1 is a constant. So uh, I can write uh, P power gamma minus 1 is equal to some constant into t power gamma. So I can write p is equal to uh, some k t power uh, gamma upon gamma minus 1. That I'll be using. So let me go to the next slide. p is equal to k uh, t power gamma upon gamma minus 1. So now what I have to find, I have to get somehow dp by dt. So differentiate this with respect to uh, temperature dp by dt will become k uh, gamma upon gamma minus 1 into t gamma upon gamma minus 1 minus 1 will become 1 upon gamma minus 1. And here I want to put the value of k from the above equation. So value of k from above equation is 
P upon that whole T power gamma by gamma minus 1. Here gamma upon gamma minus 1 and T power 1 upon gamma minus 1. So that will become this T power gamma upon gamma minus 1 and this T uh, 1 upon gamma minus 1 that will become just T. So that is going to become gamma upon gamma minus 1 into P by T. I want to write in terms of rho because in this expression there is rho. I want to get rid of that rho. So ideal uh, gas equation uh, we know that uh, P is equal to uh, rho R T by M. So P by T is equal to uh, rho R by M. Here M is the molar mass. R is obviously universal gas constant. Rho is a density. So this is equal to gamma upon gamma minus 1 into P by T. P by T is the uh, rho R by M. So, from here, dp by dz, was minus rho g, uh, minus rho g divided by dp by dt. So, dp by dt, I am putting here gamma upon gamma minus 1, uh, rho r and m. So that rho and rho gets cancelled. So uh, I've got the expression for uh, dp by dz. That expression has become minus uh, gamma minus 1 by gamma uh, into g, m and by r. So what is a good thing about this expression is that uh, you can see that this expression is independent of height. So it means uh, so far as, and there's one thing that as we go up, G changes. So we don't have to go uh, quite far above. So as long as G changes, G is constant, approximately uh, constant. So the adiabatic lapse rate is constant. So temperature uh, decreases linearly with height. And that's what we will use. And uh, for air, Air is uh, what? Air is basically oxygen. Oxygen is a uh, uh, molar mass is 32 and nitrogen molar mass is uh, 28. And this is approximately say 21% and this is approximately 79%. Uh, the rest of the gases are negligible. So average molar mass of air, if we calculate M average of air, uh, that will be how much that will be around comes out to be around 29 29 gram per mole so 29 gram per mole is the average mass and if i put it here so this value is very important so this value comes out to be roughly rough value i'm giving so gamma for air uh, air is basically predominantly what uh, diatomic gas so gamma for air is uh, gamma air diatomic gas that will be 7 by 5 1.4 and take value of g and r as a usual so we get this value as a uh, 10 kelvin per kilometer or in better way we can write uh, 10 degree centigrade per kilometer mean as we go up uh, by one kilometer every one kilometer up uh, temperature decreases by 10 degree centigrade now I will uh, take the question of uh, Olympia 2012 and we'll use this expression and then we'll get the other answers. So in this question, uh, they have explained the formation of the cloud, that the, how the hot air goes up and the cloud is formed. And um, uh, they have explained that the, at height Z, what is the uh, how the pressure varies with height like this formula this is the variation of pressure with height and there is some alpha given alpha the value of alpha they have not written uh, we have to find in one of the option p naught t naught is the pressure and temperature at the sea level and where uh, z is zero tau is the lapse rate the one that i have just calculated is tau tau mean magnitude of change in uh, temperature t with height above and tau is greater than zero now they are asking uh, find 
an expression for the lab state in terms of gamma r and m i have written capital m they have written gamma so uh, what i had obtained i obtained uh, gamma that is the lapse rate here they are written the magnitude of the lapse rate so gamma greater than so basically gamma is my minus uh, del t by del z because actually the lapse rate is uh, del t by del z that is negative so that thing is gamma minus one by gamma uh, g m uh, m here is that m gm by capital r and that comes out to be approximately a uh, 10 degree centigrade per kilometer so that is option estimate the change in temperature when we ascend a height of one kilometer and so that is very clear that uh, this is a constant rate so in every one kilometer temperature decreases by uh, 10 degrees centigrade so yes to so answer then that that will this answer will be simply uh, 10 degree centigrade or you can say 10 kelvin either uh, show that pressure will depend on height by equation one so we have to write this equation of pressure variation so for that thing uh, and then and the find expert expression for the exponent alpha in terms of gamma so let me go to next page so once again suppose this is the uh, sea level, sea level means Z is equal to zero. Here pressure is P naught, temperature is T naught, and we as go up at height Z. Here pressure is P and temperature is T. So I can immediately write temperature uh, because the temperature uh, decreases linearly with height. So, on going a height z above, the temperature will become initial temperature T naught minus the lapse rate, magnitude of lapse rate, that is uh, gamma uh, into z. So, that will be temperature there. And the pressure here, and then uh, I can use uh, adiabatic process equation once again. Uh, P, here I had written this this equation i am going to apply p is equal to k t power gamma minus one so p upon p naught basically i am going to use p is equal to k uh, t power gamma upon gamma minus one so p upon p naught is equal to t upon t naught power gamma upon gamma minus 1 and uh, put the value of t here so uh, that will become p is equal to p naught uh, putting the value of t here so that will be t naught minus gamma z and divided by t naught and that is a gamma upon gamma minus 1 so you can see we have obtained this expression everything is same p is equal to p naught t naught minus gamma z by t naught Oh, alpha so uh, show that the pressure will depend on height by this we have shown and the explicit expression of alpha in terms of gamma so here compare that so alpha you will get gamma upon gamma minus one and then according to last option according to this model according to this model well, just one minute uh, what is the height at which atmosphere extends? Take T naught is equal to th 300 kN from here. Obviously, atmosphere will be where there is a air pressure. So, where there is no air pressure means there is no atmosphere. So, if I equate this to 0, P is 0, mean whatever is inside this bracket has to be 0. So, mean T naught should be equal to uh, gamma Z here. So, atmosphere will be where till there is a pressure. So, when there is no pressure, no atmosphere. So, mean uh, last option A. So, equate P to 0 mean you will get T naught minus gamma Z. This is gamma is equal to 0. So, Z that is the height up to which there is atmosphere. So, that will be T naught by uh, gamma. T naught was given to be 300 Kelvin and uh, 300 kelvin and this gamma was uh, we calculated approximately 30 uh, sorry uh, 
10 kelvin per kilometer so it means that will come out to be 30 kilometer so according to this um, formula we obtain that our atmosphere extends up to 30 kilometer so this is the uh, total solution of uh, this very beautiful inph equation thank you